questions, meet the questions asked by our Fleming Hoff family. From the pen of Leedy, the answers will make history. That is provided that they're right. Jingles are the highlight of the night. When you ask the questions, sometimes it's that of Steve's right. Less often Dan's right, but Taylor's always nice. Oh, I love that opening, Dan. I don't know how you're ever going to top it, honestly. That's that's your best. Look, you got to you got to keep strong. <laughs> gotta... I forgot Fucking about that. Christ. <laughs> It's it's the Vin Diesel bracket, and I will honor the great man. I will honor him. I I appreciate that. I can't believe you photoshopped yourself into a picture of with me. I know. You're Vin Diesel in the picture. I fucked up. I didn't yeah. do it wrong. <laughs> uh, no, I was saying that's just a picture of me in my car, and you put yourself in. I don't know. Oh, know. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. You've got that. That that's the other thing. There's the office, and then there's that. Uh, yeah, your two touring vehicles. <laughs> Speaking of cars, boy, yes. did I see what might have been my favorite move ever by a driver. This was oh, no. <laughs> fantastic. It was, was, it, was okay. it drifting. It was not drifting. It was, was not it drifting. Hitting the NOS button. It was. It was not. But I do <laughs> want you to guess what happens at the end. Okay. Okay. You drive the car through space. Got it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong end. Oh. Um, that also sounded weird. Anyway, the point is, uh, I was driving, going a regular speed, having right away. There is a gas station that's about three quarters through the block. Okay. Now this is, this is a block without, there's only stuff on one side. It's kind of like as, as a highway starts. Okay. Yep. Yep. Got it. So, uh, there is a person. So there's a double yellow line. All right. With space in between. There's two so two yellow solid lines, okay? You with me? Yeah. All right, three quarters of the way through the block. Uh, there's a woman who, who takes a left turn into the gas station to cut me off, all right? No yep. blinker. No yep. blinker. Love that. Two kids in the back seat, clearly unseat belted, like climbing around, all right? Yep. yep, yep, yep. Okay, front of her car completely smashed. I jam on my brake not to hit her. I do not hit her. Yeah. Guess what she does? It's the greatest move of all time. She gets vaccinated immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the bang. She'd forgotten previously, but that's why I needed to get to the gas station, Steve. She'd changed her mind. She'd done her own research. Was that what happened? <laughs> that was not what happened. Um, after all of this, uh, she flipped me off. <laughs> I genuinely... Like I said the funny answer, but in my head, she flipped you off. Like, that was the real, <laughs> what I thought, how that went down. I laughed out loud. Because, like, I didn't give her a glare. I didn't, like, I didn't do anything. I just kind of let it happen because it's like, all right, you need to go to the gas station, whatever. It's an incredibly dangerous move, an incredibly yes. selfish move, not just for her, but for the kids. And it's one of those things where the entire front of her car was just totally smashed in. I'm like, I see how that happened. You know, yeah. like that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've seen the history. Like, yeah, you know, not that the, she hit someone, history. that she flipped off the wrong person. They took a baseball bat out and beat the hell out of her car. Like, that's wow. how it probably happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, it was. It was just so remarkable, the idea that I, as the person who she almost killed, I was the villain in the story. I was, I was very She flipped you off because she was trying to kill you and you avoided it. She's like, fuck, my friend! <laughs> She's like, damn this final destination. I got to get him another way. Yeah. I mean, I do like that, you know all these aspects together you're like can you believe this lady with the dented front car and the unbuckled kids cutting me off was also an asshole and i'm like yeah <laughs> well that's what i mean it was so perfect the yeah. idea that she did all of that that she mm. risked her life her kids life my life no blinker double yellow turn and i'm just like that is that's incredible that's just yeah. it was I'm inspired gonna I'm going to throw it out there. It wasn't even going to the gas station to get gas. I think she was getting cigarettes, if I was I, guessing. I think she was going to the gas station to flick a cigarette at the gas station. I think that's why she was. You, you think she was properly just wanting to watch the world burn. She was the Joker, low budget edition. Yeah, this was, it was, it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. In my head, Kenny, she's playing GTA and going for like an achievement. And she's like, gotta hit the redhead before blowing up the gas station. You fucked up my run. 
<laughs> I gotta now. I gotta go back and do this all over. Uh, yeah, gonna... I saw in the comments someone asked me where if you were in Pittsburgh. It was the the shell on on uh, Butler by the Highland Bridge. That's where it was. This, so. this is getting this is getting a specifically geographical show. Well, if anybody <laughs> wants to fact check me, that's where it was. So yeah. yeah, I know where that is. There's like three places I've gone, and that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I know exactly where that happened. Yeah. Well, it's clearly a hip spot if this lady was trying to get there in such a rush, you know? Yeah. Maybe there's a speakeasy out back. It's a, it's a <laughs> she cool was area. trying to get there before the club closed. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The kids can wait in the car. Yeah, uh, the I'd Shell be- Rewards <laughs> Club. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The other people didn't, but that's okay because they're wrong. Um, so good, <laughs> dangerous driving. I like a good dangerous driver. Did, did you? Did you just laugh? There was no retaliation from Steve. I I just I just laughed and drove on. Like it was. It was one of these things where it was so bad it was hilarious. Like I think if she did only part of it, I would have been kind of angry, maybe flipped her off back. Probably not. I tend not to road rage. I like to silently road rage or road rage to myself in my car. You know, like I'll be driving, I'll be like, look at this fucking idiot. And no one else is in my car. I'll just say that about the other person because I just don't think it's worth it. You know, like there's no... There's no moment where where that escalation is worth it. And also, if she's willing to potentially murder her children, I don't think she'll go easy on me. So. <laughs> and also, if there's one thing I know about that car, she has weapons. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you said there's two kids yeah. unbuckled. Yeah. <laughs> just, she just steers into it and one of them flies up the like a missile. Her kids yeah. are striated, you know, for good turning during the can shot that's that's what's gonna happen in, in f10 that's what's gonna happen right there yeah. it's like I, I like to think they're very like heavy children as well so the impact is higher you know what i mean like, like, big kids. Like, they, I'm they were not they were, they were little kids like i just the and the, and the the worst part is look at that being like uh i i think at least maybe one of these kids makes it out a decent human being but definitely at least one of them unless a May probably both are just going to be awful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can tell they're just like future child stars of the TV show Cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing because you're dressed like a cast member right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I look. I thought this would be like funnier than it was, and I didn't realize this singlet really brings out my nipples. So I'm like, I'm quite concerned now. I'm feeling a bit exposed. <laughs> This is like uh, one minute before the show. I'm like, I know how I'm going to open this thing up. Everyone cares about the Vin Diesel bracket as much as me. And now I'm just like, hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, you know this- the franchise, the cold and the furious? Yes. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Take it. A late one, but I like it. All right. I'll take it. Let's, well, Steve, speaking of Fast and Furious, let's get into this fucking thing, shall we? Welcome to Ask Us Everything, everybody, if you haven't been here before. Uh, it is it is a lot, this show, but it does, you know, you catch up quick. I promise you that. Um, we've got a bunch of segments. We've got a bunch of games. We're about to tear into our first one. Steve, are you ready to get the show started? Uh, yes, but before we do, just to let the new folks know, um, if you are confused at all, just kind of sit back for a little bit and watch. You'll see. Um, we do encourage participation, but it is structured participation. Uh, sometimes we ask you questions. Sometimes we ask us questions. You'll see how it goes. It's pretty easy to follow. Let's do it. And also, if you if you have any questions and put them in the chat, our Flamingo family, the regulars on the show, the Patreons will absolutely answer them for you in a sincere fashion. Whereas if you ask us something, we will answer it in the funniest way, but not necessarily the most helpful. Yeah. Fantastic. And, and sometimes... <laughs> Just an attempt at the funniest way. <laughs> hey, the attempt is also funny. Let's get into it. <laughs> ask the questions while Lady draws the answers. I said, ask the questions, please. Ask the questions. I thought that'd help. That, that was that was pump up the jam. <laughs> that was pump up the jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got jam, it. Man. I got it from the from the beat and from the little synth at the end but yeah. definitely not from the rest of it. <laughs> well, the, Steve, you'll notice the lyrics were slightly different. Yeah, well, they were very, that's they right. were different in both words and meter and timing. Yeah, at no, no point did I mention preserves, you know? Like, <laughs> jam is like pretty big about, not marmalade, but other preserves. All right, that's let's what get Pump Up The Jam is about. Yeah, is it is it not? It's like eating breakfast. It's popped out of the toast. Like, yeah. like, 
I just like the idea that you have to now play that every time you're making a sandwich. I enjoy. <laughs> you guys are the only people that put jam on sandwiches. Ours is a purely breakfast preserve. You know, like we're ready to leave breakfast in the morning. You guys bring it to school. You're fucked up. It makes me All uncomfortable. Right. All right. Everyone got upset by that. They're like, you're fucking coming at PB and J. Uh, <laughs> um, let's get into the first game of the show. It's called Last Call. It's Last Call. Ooh, new theme. Time to shut your screen off based on the question. <laughs> I know who I want to win this game. I know who I want to win this game. Yes. Yes, it's big. Uh, new jingle, Steve. I thought, you know, I should stop just provoking uh, Queen's estate. It is. Uh, it is. Do, do you think that the jingle is why you can't win this game? Yeah. <laughs> I certainly feel like I was, I was losing the lawsuit. I'm starting on the back foot. It's no good. Um, all right, so guys, in this game, we're going to bring a bunch of new people up on the screen and some and some regulars just to show you how it's done. Uh, we ask you 50-50 questions, and you shut your screen off or leave it on based on the response. Uh, it is competitive. We try and get you down to one person remaining uh, in the fewest questions possible. Steve v. me. Uh, and just so you know who's playing at the moment, we have Heather Chadwick, we have Fran, we have Jenna Meneskiasi. Oh, no, she closed the camera off. Get her out of there. Thank God, because I was not going to land the plane on that last name. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> uh, Samantha Hawk. Susanna Cool. I'm going to pronounce that cool, like K-E-U-L. Uh, then we got Steph Andrews, pre-cheesed, also known as Ray. And we still need a couple more. <laughs> yeah, I couple more. I'm just uh, searching for names. Searching right. for names? Aren't we all? Um, Steve's going to go first. <laughs> Uh, right, 50, 50 questions and if you're new to the show watch this in speak of you because then you'll see who is highlighted on the screen yeah we always cool. recommend uh this show is much better to watch on your computer than it is on your phone you will understand a lot more of it and we always recommend speak review if you can unless we tell you otherwise um all right there we go all right here we go okay we got eight people all right let's start let's start with a big swing here all right this might knock everybody out i don't know Shut mm -hmm. your camera off if you've been in a car accident in the last decade. Last decade. Last decade. You know, do you guys ever call a car accident a prank? That's it. I should have. I shouldn't have gone with the decade thing. I should have. I, I was worried it was gonna knock too many people out to say if you've ever been in one. Um, yeah. What did What did you ask if it's called a what? A prang. Prang. Yeah. No. Oh, I could have saved that for Australian slang. Well, I fuck that. <laughs> is that like a like a like a prang mantis? Is that? Oh, no, just like P R A N G, just a prang. Like oh, it's like a well, minor car accident. Car accident. I was definitely prang. <laughs> <laughs> like a ding. Okay. A ding? Yeah. Uh, down to three. Okay. Um, shut your camera off if you have ever flipped off another driver on the road. <laughs> Did I get them all? <laughs> Heather, you're still with us? I'm still here. Two, oh, baby! Oh, oh. It is Ooh. not the theme music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. Nicely done. Heather, very safe, very courteous driver. There's one thing we all know about Heather Chadwick. Very safe, very courteous driver. That is... <laughs> very safe, very courteous. Never flipped anyone off, even if they deserved it. Hey, cool. I'm in the I'm in the Brady Bunch position. It would cool. it would be hilarious if she's just like, no, got a couple DUIs real early, haven't driven since. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's funny if she's just like, I haven't flipped anybody off, but like I have keyed seventeen cars. <laughs> <laughs> Heather is written into a series of bumpers. You know what I mean? Just like, <laughs> yeah, just not just the line, but her entire name. Yeah. Just <laughs> Heather Chadwick says, "Fuck you!" Like just all of it written in. <laughs> <laughs> The picture of a hand with made with the key, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing this someone not on purpose. Who have I forgotten? You, you know forgotten? when you say me when there's a sea of voices? I don't know it's you. I know not everyone's done high school sports, but I would get yelled at in the locker room if somebody, hey, who's this jackass who missed the tackle? Me. Who the fuck hey. is me? Yeah. Uh, Sandra, I did that on purpose. Thank you. All right. Thank you. For Sandra. <laughs> I really, I really like when Taylor gets upset, so he gets a little. They say Taylor was a good girl. Good on you, mate. Uh, get angry. That's what the show's always needed. That's what I've said. All right, all right. I got, I got, I got this. I got, I got this right. I got this right now. I got this. Here we go. 
Steve's Steve's leaving because he just he he knows that I'm gonna lose. Nah, I'm, ta- I'm taking the I'm taking the hoodie off. It's too warm. Take the hoodie off. You better have a singlet and a cross under there. Um, <laughs> right. Here we go. This is this is this is the question. Have you, in the last month, if you've been on hold, on a like a call, like just been on hold oh, for an, oh. over an hour in the last month, oh. turn your camera off. <laughs> if you've been on hold on a call for over an hour in the last month, turn your camera off. I've eliminated no people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for a home run. Misses the bunt. By the way, Dan, the vast yeah. majority of telephone systems in America now, you can just you just get called back when it's your turn. Or let me venture a guess: these people are like me, and if they are held on hold for more than even five minutes, I'm done. Yeah. I, this call is not worth it. Mm-hmm. There we They're go. Just I know like, my forget people. it. I'll find another funeral parlor. I don't need to wait. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, fuck the funeral altogether. Leave the dead body. <laughs> For the new people, that's the voice of Lady. She is the show's <laughs> artist. The artist. The true artist. I can't believe zero. I thought at least somebody had a complaint or like a flight to change or something to can't. It's okay. I'm not hurt. I'm not rattled or anything. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I had to deal with it uh, recently because the state mm. of California punished me for uh paying taxes too early (laughs) i got i got penalized for apparently there's like a six month window to pay the corporate tax and if you pay three weeks before that six month window you get fined 250 dollars so i got it i got it back but it took me a couple hours on hold so I bet the That's person really who funny. find you, he was someone who came to a show and didn't know your work, and he heckled you, and you put him down. This was <laughs> yes, that is 100 percent what yeah. happened. All right, thank you for giving me this thinking time, but let's end this massacre. Um, so, <laughs> shut your camera off if somebody has gotten your order wrong in the last six months. I'm giving you a big window. Ooh, that's a that's a big Order swing wrong. here. Any description in the last six months, shut your camera off. You what? lucky motherfuckers. How? How? <laughs> I'm going to shut my camera off if you were like, if someone got your order wrong in the last six minutes. Like, it happens constantly. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got Look, my question. Look, you talk fast, now. and I couldn't order I the Chinese that fast. <laughs> door dash. Uh, this is... Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, the, the, the amount of times... That like an Uber Eats or a Grubhub or DoorDash whatever shows up, and I'm just like, well, I guess I'll try this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go to the same places. Go yeah. to the same places. This is this is just horrible. This is. I mean, is- and also I'm not really mad because you did embarrass Dan, so I'm okay yeah. with it. Yeah. I love that I would have got Steve out twice. In two questions, <laughs> smashing Steve out of this game. There's uh, an right. idea. You guys should do last call on each other sometime. <laughs> yeah, just last call, sudden death. Yes. That, that just sounded like very intimate. You guys should do last call on each oh, other. Yeah. <laughs> last call penalty <laughs> kicks. That's what we need to do. Dan, I think you hear what you want to hear. <laughs> um, I'm just looking down, hoping that my nipples aren't also showing. <laughs> The lady, if I hear what I want to hear, why did I just hear you talk? All oh. right. <laughs> oh my god. That's air horn. Nicely done. Oh. No, 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 not air horn. That, that was. I liked. I liked everyone getting upset on ladies' bar. <laughs> I'm just sucking at this game, getting zinged by everybody, and you're like, "This is great. Uh, this is the highlight of the show." Uh, a man in a singlet getting humbled. Uh, all, right. all right. I just. I got. I got like absolutely. I got not. Oh. I genuinely can't think of anything. All right. If you have received an email from your parents in the last week, turn your camera off. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Oh last week, Dan. In the last if, week. Wait. If your name is not Dan or Anna, turn your camera off. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna turned hers off. <laughs> how many? How many more of these embarrassments do I have to do? Like one more, then it's over. What I have to do? Uh, two you more. technically have two. Yeah. Fuck. Just say what you're gonna say, and then do the opposite, and you'll be fine. <laughs> All right. 
All right. You have drunk anything with ice in it in the last week. Turn your camera on. Anything with ice in it. Just anything with ice in it. How are you not all out? <laughs> welcome to welcome to the game called Last Call, aka Dan doesn't understand humans. <laughs> How have you noticed something with ice in it just accidentally? Like, come on. I I wouldn't have gone out on that one either. Oh, I got one more. I got one more. Um, if your name. Doesn't have the letter. The full- <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm not doing this. If your name isn't Daniel Muggleton, shut your camera off. <laughs> Please, everyone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a that was a hell of a hell of a last call, everybody. I'm never changing the jingle again, ever. <laughs> I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank the Academy, uh, all my supporters. I just. Don't bring Lady up on screen. It's not her time yet. I don't want to be bullied. No he doesn't want to see me. He doesn't want to hear me. What's next? The audience should know what the bully looked like, all right? Oh. <laughs> I've been on oh. I have you not been on screen yet. Sorry, that's actually quite rude of it. Um, to, to not have you here. Thank you. Thank you for uh, mocking me during the middle of that game, giving me more time to think about the worst possible questions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have, if you had listened to me, I would have had better questions for you. But I- that's true. Here's the secret, Dan. Uh, the answers come from wearing sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you had some questions up your sleeve, and I, well, you know. Uh, it's like a really yeah. weird Samson story. <laughs> uh, I just... That was so painful. <laughs> One of my most public humiliations in recent memory. Like, I'm hurt. Like, I am genuinely just like... Where do I even go from that? You know. When I opened with a question about a car accident. I had no idea I was describing the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you have every right to flip me off right now. <laughs> I would never. I will take Heather's approach and expect my name written in your van sometime soon. <laughs> okay. All right, shall we play a game that I can't actually lose? Let's play Reverse Icebreakers. Break it. All right, Reverse Icebreakers, one of the staples of Ask Us Everything. Uh, you tell us an answer, we try it and guess the question. It's like those icebreaker games you play on horrific corporate retreats, but good. Uh, Taylor, who we got? Good show, Sean. Sean, good to see you. Good to see another camera on that I'm not responsible for. What is your answer, sir? Prunes. 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 Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Prunes. Um, what was the rejected first name of the Golden Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Prunes coming this fall to NBC. It's fucking good. <laughs> That's what Play the sex in the shooting would be called now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Prunes. Uh, what? What was responsible for a toilet paper shortage in your house? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have one. Uh, what is the worst marketed product of all time? They're just dried plums. Like a prune is just a dried plum. They're like, hold on, hold on. Let's take a delicious fruit and name it something disgusting. <laughs> that way it'll sell. And it you didn't. Wasn't disgusting. your tour shirt your best telling? selling tour shirt bring out your dead my best selling tour shirt was bring out your dead i think that is arguably more disgusting than a prune right <laughs> <laughs> actually what happens to people once they die oh yeah. they get repackaged i mean it is interesting that like there's the there's the prune which is a disgusting name and then the the competition to the prune is the date which is like pretty hot stuff you know yeah, I feel yeah. like this is if Seinfeld had a first draft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, prune. Uh, actual guess. Actual guess of prunes. Um, I think it's. I think it has something to do with a bad surprise ingredient in something. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna guess. But I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no. All right. No. 
I'm going to say, what, what, did, what you, uh, did you find three of under one of those couch cushions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, what is your favorite euphemism for genitalia? Just a simple one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, Sean, what is the, uh, what is the question? What did people say instead of saying, say, cheese in the 19th century when they got their photo taken? They said prunes? It was say prunes. <laughs> say oh. prunes. And is that yep. so everyone's face goes? Yeah. <laughs> Appar apparently in 19th century, people didn't smile. They wanted their, their mouth to look smaller. So they, went, they wanted the mouth to look smaller? Yeah. <laughs> they, but that was the they said prunes. Prune. That was like the Zoolander kind of vibe was what they were looking for. It was, uh, it was the, yeah, they called it black and white steel. <laughs> <laughs> they called it a steel refinery. Uh, that's what they were. <laughs> um, no idea is necessary. So really, they used to say, say prunes. Yep. So like, yep. Say prunes. No wonder they only had one fucking photo. They would have looked at it and been like, well, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wow, all right, actual trivia. I like that. I feel like we've learned something today and we should never go back there. But I'm excited to see what the next evolution is. Well, in, in Latin America, they say whiskey instead of cheese, apparently. They say, say whiskey? whiskey? Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Do they say the Spanish word for whiskey? No. Okay. They say, say whiskey. Does yeah. anyone speak Spanish? Does whiskey have a different meaning in Spanish or are they just going whiskey? Anyone? No. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's so like just like a kid's school photo. Say whiskey, and the kids like whiskey, and you're like, wow. No, it's right. the same. Um, I looked it up. Uh, they don't the use an e. <laughs> and did I spell that wrong? They they say Scotch whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they, what? Are, yeah. All right. Good fact. Thank you. Thanks so much, Sean. Nicely done, Sean. I've learned something. All right. Ooh. Let's uh, let's do another. Who else we got? We got Yardley. Patrick Oakley, back Patrick on the pack, Oakley. back on the Dick Jones, Jones. Yeah. and back wearing a fantastic hat. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, and yeah. Well, gosh, yes. All right. The answer is forty-one inches. <laughs> <laughs> what is the vector um, on that hat? <laughs> How tall do you have to be to ride? No. Um, okay. Uh, for 41 inches. What's the size of that vest? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, actually, it's, that's close. That's close. Oh. 41 inches. I wonder if it's like, a, so if it's a sizing thing, like a jacket, maybe? I feel like a, like a 41 could be a jacket. I'm trying to think of what else. I, I don't think, is it the, is the it size of that sword? Or are you just throwing us off by show by show and tell things? Yeah, I might be. I feel like I'm getting tricked. I don't think it's the diameter of that hat, but also the diameter of the children in the back seat of that lady's car. Forty one inches. <laughs> uh forty one inches. How close was that car to hitting me? <laughs> what is what is the maximum length of Subway sandwich I'm willing to eat? <laughs> what is how how far are Dan's nipples protruding? <laughs> this is a family show, Steve. <laughs> any, well, any show with Vin Diesel in it is a family show. Absolutely. <laughs> Can we please make a compilation of all the times you've said it was a family show and then uh, sprinkled in there as all of our worst moments? <laughs> that would actually be kind of great. Quite a few gifts that everyone's like, oh, dear God. Um, yeah. All right. Patrick Oakley, what is the real answer, sir? What is the deepest length I have penetrated somebody? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you can walk off the stage the again. Um, I... I want to both ask a follow-up and also not ask a follow-up. Yeah. Uh, yes. Is this in like a medical way? Is this in like a sword swallower way? And that's not I mean, a euphemism. I don't think follow-up is the term I'd use for someone who penetrated someone 41 inches. Sorry. <laughs> Steve, yes and yes. So what, this is not the actual weapon I did it. 
I had an epee that broke off, penetrated the four inches of um, armor they were wearing, and literally I skewered somebody. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Are, I assume they were okay, and and you're not wearing that hat to hide from the law. I respectfully refuse to answer that question. <laughs> yes, they are. They are absolutely fine. Uh, I caught them actually in their gut area, mm -hmm. which allowed them to heal and be ambulanced off to the hospital. Yeah, but, that yeah. is. What do you say when you accidentally stab someone while playing stabby stabby games? Well, <laughs> if you're in the Midwest, you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Just the wow. idea, because you're just like, oh, I, I guess I win. <laughs> like, how do you. <laughs> Four. Actually, I did win that bout. <laughs> well, I think on a technicality. <laughs> In wrestling, Ellie, we call that a medical forfeit. <laughs> yeah. Skeptic, that's because you stabbed them in the back from the front. <laughs> I stabbed them in the... Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, attempted murder aside, uh, very interesting story. <laughs> it's not attempted murder. There's no fourth thought. That's manslaughter. And uh, fun fact, there's no statute of limitations in Virginia for that. So keep hiding. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think when people agree to fence, they are agreeing to be potentially stabbed. I think that's part of it. That's that's true. Yeah, you have to yeah. you have to sign a waiver in case of stabbing. Uh, Patrick, thank you very much for that. I gotta yeah. say, between Sean's and yours, we have learned a lot today. <laughs> Mainly to not fence, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you, sir. Uh, all right. Pa Patrick's Maybe. like, say prune. <laughs> <laughs> all right, lady, I think it's time for some goddamn drawings. Let's do it. Lady, 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 lady. Adia, 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 adia. I wanna, wanna, wanna draw me. A lady, 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 lady. It's it's quite long, isn't it? But I figure it yeah. gives you time to set up. It's, it, you it, know? it is longer. But it it's is great. Longer. But I enjoy I it. We could go shorter. We could go shorter. No. <laughs> All right. First up, I have. We'll get you up. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow, that really catches it quite well. <laughs> uh, then I've got some moms just want to watch the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this kind of purple power suit seems likely. I don't know if it's correct. But... Yeah. Uh, wanna... And... Last but not least, for now, I have a 41 inch. <laughs> I mean, love it. Um, that's that's family size. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Um, I started to think of the mum being like, "You want to know how I got these star these scars?" <laughs> oh god. <Right. laughs> you want to know how my car got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> That is better. Topped me. Well done. Topped me. Fuck. Phrasing. All right. So, <laughs> having one of those shows, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for the Would You Rather uh, that exists, obviously, in the Facebook group. Uh, if you are new to the show, you can join the Ask Us Everything Facebook group. Uh, that's where we post a bunch of content from the show. Uh, that's where we do the poll every week for the Would You Rather question. And Steve, I've got to say, I've, I've just nailed it yet again with an incredibly one-sided poll. But before that, let's get the intro happening. <laughs> This is the longest jingle of the show. Use the time wisely. He told me you killed him. No. I would you rather. Uh, in the time since you started playing that jingle, it dropped 10 degrees, so I decided to put my hoodie back on. Wow. Hey, Steve, that joke was cold. <laughs> Here we go. 
Uh, the would you rather question this week, Steve. Would you rather the only beverage you can drink is water or the only food you can eat is rice? What do you like? Uh, the only beverage, until I started drinking coffee, the only beverage I drank was water. So that is a question that absolutely I, I pick water for sure. I would definitely miss coffee, but aside from that, that's pretty much what I live off of right now. So I'd be fine. Uh, I would rather a boring drink than boring meal. What a, what about a what about a juice? You're not having a juice? I don't not really. I mean, uh, you know, occasionally I might have like a smoothie or something. But does what that a, mean I can't have soup anymore? Is soup part uh, of that? I I think it depends on the viscosity of the soup. Yeah. All right. I can only have thick soups from now on. That's yeah. The, that's Real the sentence you've given boy. me. Uh, no, abs absolutely. Uh, water. The idea of rice at every meal would drive me insane. Like, and I don't mean rice at every meal. I mean rice for every meal. Like, it's the only thing you could have. No it veggies is, yeah. in it. No meat in it. Like, absolutely not. That's not for me. I assume but, that's what the the lopsidedness of the poll was. I haven't seen it. It was it was quite lopsided. You're correct. Uh, but you got to remember, Steve. There's like at least seven different kinds of rice. You could <laughs> plain white. You could go brown. You could go arboreal. Oh, arboreal? Not arboreal. That's like fucking farming, isn't it? Uh, uh, I mean, you know, you could ask the people in Michigan. You can also have brown water. So. <laughs> Statute of limitations. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you're going. Uh, so what? You don't drink like a, a soda? I, I'm trying to imagine you drinking a soda. I don't think I've seen it. No, I, I, I used to, and you know, like I've had every so often, but it's you know not not common. Um, I used to a lot. Uh, one of the biggest changes I made when I started like being conscious about trying to eat healthy was uh, I went from having three or four sodas a day to only drinking water. It took a couple of weeks, um, but now like I don't like the taste of soda anymore. Just water. Three or four sodas a day. I used to That's drink a lot of soda. What, what, what was your soda of choice? I'm thinking of Diet Coke, man. Um, I mean, my favorite soda was a root beer, but like you can't, you know, that's a dessert soda. You can't, you know, just have that willy nilly. Uh, I, uh, I thought people would like that. You did not. You guys were, either you thought I was crazy or you're like, yeah, that is a dessert soda. Yeah. I mean, I was like, what an American sentence. There's a dessert soda. <laughs> After dinner, digestive. It's a root beer, like you know, like that kind of shit. I was uh, no, I I used to uh, a lot of coke, a lot of sprite. Mm -hmm. sprite. A lot of coke, yeah. a lot of sprite. Yeah, okay. I would I would I drink a lot of coke, and then if I was trying to have something healthier for me, I would have sprite. So that was the that was <laughs> <laughs> the healthy alternative. The healthy alternative to coke, sprite. There it is. Yeah, uh, got lemon, got fruit in it. It's good. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Look, the poll the poll is incredibly lopsided. Uh, the only beverage you can drink is water. One hundred and two votes. Versus the only food you can eat is rice. 13 votes. Um, I think like I, and this this is probably not going to shock any of you, as an Australian, assume that everybody on this show has some kind of alcohol addiction that they just don't. Like, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, I think everyone on the show is like, man, but I'm fucking stinging for a beer. You know, like how am I, you know, like that's like invading their logic. But Americans are just like, nah, bro, we... No, we don't. We don't really Americans drink. Americans like, are like, no, 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 no. We do drugs like adults. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'd be it. Just like no, no drugs at all. But even then, I think this show, this show is quite straight, straight edge. I think. I think, I think that was the, I think that was the problem. A lot of people were like, give up edibles. No, no. Right. <laughs> I'll wash the edibles down with some water. In fact, when I take edibles, my mouth gets dry, so I need more water. <laughs> How am I gonna smoke this bong without water? <laughs> um, um, yeah uh yeah so look incredibly lopsided i thought it was kind of close because like with rice you know it's just it's simple it's simple right forget worrying about what you're eating fucking one cup of rice for every meal i might can, I, I i may have had a different answer if it was like you could eat rice based things so like you could have various like fried rice and rice bowls and like all kinds of stuff like that. I would have, you know, rice in a burrito, etc. If you had to eat a meal that had rice, no matter what, I think yeah. it would have been a little closer. But just plain but, rice, no. But everything can eat rice. Like that was the the original question that I modified was salad. Rice Krispies. It was like it was like, <laughs> would you rather drink water or salad for every meal? And I'm like, but salad, like, 
there's pasta salad, which is just cold pasta. Like the the rules are broken. In, it is the, very the funny that that people just throw the word salad onto something to make it like chicken salad. That's not chicken salad. That's just mayo on chicken. Like that's <laughs> no, like yeah, yeah, a salad. You know, with mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. How you make salads? It's like a temperature term at this point. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. It means like, something cold. Oh yeah, yeah then, then cold biscuits and gravy. That's just gravy salad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. tear up the biscuits. Yeah, By the yeah, way, you good. know that there's a diner somewhere in Alabama that serves gravy salad. You know it. Oh. We go to that <laughs> diner if I come to America. <laughs> I need to experience this life, Steve. Uh, I can have Quiznos anywhere. But I am going to be so excited for when you when you come here and I get to take you on like on the tour because the thing is we're going to go to real cities but on the way we're going to stop at some fun places we're going to stop at some places where you cannot have that mustache and that steve steve i do have a trucker hat that i could wear (laughs) the problem is that mustache with glasses i think there's the problem if you have it without the glasses, put the trucker hat on, wear the wear the singlet without the Yep, all right, you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, is it is it weird that this is the one episode he didn't do the Queen theme song and he looks like Freddie Mercury? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Man, I like to think I look a little bit better than Freddie Mercury at this point. <laughs> yeah, I guess like win in the line, but yeah. <laughs> I mean you look you look better than him than right before, I'll tell you that much. That's true. Uh, Dan, um, when you come to America, I think we need to make a point of counting every single American flag that you cross. <laughs> I think it must actually, be done. That is honestly probably the most I will ever work in my life if we do that. <laughs> That's the hardest thing I will ever do. But I'd be fucking curious. Like, what do you reckon? Tip a thousand in like a few weeks? Yeah. Oh, in oh. a few weeks. <laughs> Oh, think- Dan, Dan, we might drive through Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can ever properly comprehend how many American flags there are. Like, I can't comprehend the size of a moose. There I are think- <laughs> only three things that Texas has more of than American flags. <clears throat> Cows, churches, and Texas flags. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I want to say it. I want to say it in the Oh, flesh. four, four. Sorry, disenfranchised voters. But <laughs> those four things. Uh, yeah. All right, Taylor, I think it's time for a regular question, right? It's called yeah. Ask Us Everything. We should pop up a question. I think we should. Uh, I think absolutely. we should do it. We got, Who we got? Uh, one of Who our do we back. Oh, you got hi. Zara. Zara, welcome back. What's your question? Okay, uh, following off after the moose, great. So um, oh, we know how much we love flamingos on the show, but my question is similarly animal-based. Um, is there an animal that you think is just overrated, smug, to knock it down a peg? Um, overrated animal. Overrated animal. <sighs> um, an overrated animal. Um, a, uh, a hyena. A hyena. A hyena? Yeah, they're kind of they're... dicks. They laugh at you. <laughs> Fuck them. Their females have dicks too. They're. We, uh... <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. We're learning a lot on this show. <laughs> um, probably too much, I'd say. I liked it when I knew less. I had a much better um, okay, uh, now, hyena. Um... A red animal. I mean, not to get like ultra Australian about it, but I think like kangaroos. Like people from overseas get real pumped about kangaroos, but they're just kind of, they're just kind of whatever, you know. Like it's kind of like you guys. I, maybe it's just because there's so many of them and we just see them and they're just not ex- not that exciting. But like it's kind of like you guys with squirrels because I I rate squirrels. I like them a lot. I think they're really cool the way they jump, you know. Like they do that thing. But you guys don't seem to care about them at all. Yeah, uh, I I like that. Uh, I like that Dan has the same opinion of squirrels as the average dog. But hey, hey, uh, I, I, I do. I think I do agree with you 
<laughs> when it comes to when it comes to kangaroos, because so I as as an American, I found them like you know interesting and exotic. And mm. uh, Rachel from uh, SDSC, uh, she was working in Australia at like this kangaroo preserve where they're trying to like save kangaroos. Mm. And uh, I asked her about it. And I was like, oh, that sounds like something that like people would really get behind. And she goes, no, most people find them to be nuisances. Like, and I was like, so like, what's the equivalent if we had an America? And she's like, if we had like a rat sanctuary, <laughs> that's how people would treat it. She was like, like, I thought I was doing like this great thing and helping and everybody treated it like it was not a good thing at all. Yeah, I mean, but like you don't have a rat on your coat of arms. <laughs> no, we... we just had one in office. <laughs> More than one, that's what I heard. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. I do like, I don't want to say it because I think everyone will get quite upset, but I do think dolphins oh, kind of. You know oh, I mean? I'll, I'll give you there because if we're talking overrated, because people act like they're these like. In you know incredibly wonderful animals, and I think they're just kind of cool. Yeah, but they're also like they have sex for pleasure. They commit suicide. They're just like kind of moody. Like, <laughs> Fucking animal, bro. Like, do you, Lady, do you really please draw an emo dolphin. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> this is so damn. Like uh, the, the dolphins are actually assholes and like rapists, and you're like, I hate sad dolphins. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, what do you got to be sad about? You're always at the beach, you know. Everyone, <laughs> you got the fins, so like you're kind of shark-like, but you're nice, like you know. I'm surprised more dolphins. I mean, with the amount that we kill them, I'm surprised more dolphins haven't become Batman. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've seen a Simpsons episode, but they've predicted things before, so maybe it's the time of the dolphins is coming. Steve, did yeah. you did you mean Batman? That was a goat. Fuck. Wait. Did I mean what? I was trying to do a dolphin impression and say bat, but that's a goat. <laughs> that is not how a dolphin sounds, Taylor. Nope. It doesn't. <laughs> hey, Hello. at least I'm, I'm trying. Mean... I'm trying. I'm gonna you mean bring... wolf, Matt? Wait, no, that's a dog. Think back to the wheel, Taylor. Think back to the wheel. Pull the string. You'll figure it out. We got to get Taylor to Australia, like wet down a goat with a hose and tell him it's a dolphin. He'll love it. <laughs> Uh, Taylor, the That's problem is you're thinking of a different movie. It's not Free Billy. Oh, <laughs> might have been the best joke I've ever written, I'll be honest. That is so good. <laughs> oh, it's good. Like, good night, oh, everybody. <laughs> it's another nickname for William. Like, it's so impressive. Like, <laughs> I think the movie cover is just like the goat punching you through the fence <laughs> <laughs> or me in this case for fucks free billy it's like one of those goats that screams like a human for 45 minutes and they finally let it out it's like what a film powerful uh powerful stuff sorry zara did you did you have like a contender for this because i feel like you've just been trapped on screen throughout this bizarre discussion <laughs> Oh, no, everyone knows. Fuck pandas. Yeah. Giant Fuck pandas. pandas. <laughs> Fuck pandas is a big well, they can't shit. do it on their own, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fuck them. I think I know 68 people who are ready to take up the cause. Um, <laughs> oh, someone left. We were at 69. Who left? Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Um, well, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your question. Um, I can't believe I just said I dislike dolphins. That's going to cost me at some point. No. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, let's get into it, Steve. We've got another, another of our favorite games. We played it last week, but I want to play it again. Let's play Prepare to be Judged. You're under arrest! Throw out your weapons and prepare to be judged! Judge this! Audience member who has previously agreed to be judged. All right, so, uh, in this game, we bring someone up on the screen. Uh, Steve and I take a look at them, we size them up, and then we make three assumptions about them, where they're from, what they do for a living, and an interesting fact about them. Uh... You obviously just let Taylor know if you want to play um, because this game kind of requires you to be teased, but that's all right. Um, speaking of, how you going, mate? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm good, Callum. Would you, would you like to be judged? Sure. 
Okay. Um, so as I said, we're gonna we're gonna guess three things each, and then at the end, you tell us the real truth. Uh, great. Uh, we got some stuff to work with here, Steve. How you how you feeling? You want to go first? Uh, yeah, I think I'll I'll go for it. All right, ready? Lovely. Yeah. All right. Uh, you are from um, a movie where you need to be in like the command center, but they didn't have enough chairs, so they put you in the next room. <laughs> 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 um, yes. For for a living, you work in HR in the command center. <laughs> and an interesting fact about you, uh, that mic is not plugged in. Aww. The problem. Hey. hey. Um. All right. All right. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> so, Callum, just remember, like you know, all of everything I'm saying is completely true and i mean it right. <laughs> oh my god so uh you are from a cryptocurrency podcast <laughs> <laughs> what what you what you do for a living uh to throw people off the scent is you're studying uh gender studies at university <laughs> And an interesting fact about you is that you haven't actually bought any cryptocurrency yet. You just like the brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of someone who's super into crypto is also in a gender studies course because know your enemy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought, oh, you, you guys don't have any incel coin? Come on. <laughs> um, no. Callum. I, surely there's some podcasting going on because that is a fucking dope rig. That's much more professional than what I've got, in fairness. Actually, I got it from Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that... Fuck, I just... That, that is the first time I think anyone's ever been air-horned on Prepare to be Judged, but a Kmart <laughs> podcasting kit fucking leans straight into my crypto theory. Like, it's right there. Uh, Where, I thought Kmart went out of business before podcasts. <laughs> Technically. Uh, where, where are you from, Callum? Where are you actually from? Um, I'm in uh, Australia. Um, rural Australia, so nowhere near the shitty Sydney city. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> for it. I mean, I've had a few um, shots Callum, in fairness. What was it? I know nothing about crypto. I'm not into that stuff. Well, um, yeah, for crypto, I... you're from Australia, and to get crypto, you need the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine um, you can mine actual coin in Australia faster than Bitcoin. So, <laughs> um, I play a lot of video games with friends. That's why I got a good mic. I've wanted to do like streaming and stuff, but as Steve said, we have shit internet. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, streaming in rural Australia just means sitting by a stream. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it's like when four of your mates sit outside your window watching you play video games, being like, good job, keep going. <laughs> Which, by the way, is still more than some people get on Twitch, so. Significantly more. <laughs> and no one's wishing him a good job if they're doing that. They're just like, you're shite, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Very good Australian accent, Taylor. Nailed it. Uh, so, you want to hear an right, Australian Callum. goat? <laughs> <laughs> You fucking dog. Taylor, yeah, please you. tell me your goat impression sounds like. <laughs> yeah, <you're talking. laughs> um, Callum, can I ask where in rural Australia are you? Um, it's a small town called Leeton, which is near Wagga Wagga. If you know. What I know Leeton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're, we're yeah. working on also, trying to get a Wagga Wagga show when uh, when yeah, we're doing the I'm tour. We're probably gonna do it. Please, if wait, if you, I heard last um. Last one that we did, you said that you're going coming to Australia soon in February. Yeah, we're try we're Are trying you... for we're trying for uh, Wagga Wagga. We're talking to a venue. Okay, we'll if see. If you do come to Wagga Wagga, I'm coming to see a show. Excellent. I was like, I was yeah. I'll bring come to bring, see bring a show the podcasting kit. We'll do a whole thing. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was considering like Sydney is like eight hours away from me. Melbourne is like also eight hours away from me, and then. Brisbane is like fourteen hours away from him. Like, yeah, yeah, Callum, no you live in, you live in a dumb place. We get it. Yeah. Like, there's no point to living here. Yeah, I can't believe Sydney moved eight hours away from you just to be a safe distance. You know? 
Um, is actually, Callum, that's how remote it is. His neighbor's name is just Sydney. That's how far he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Do we find out what he does for a living? Yeah, we need uh, to know. I'm, I'm actually a bartender at a um, club, like a soldier's club. At the one bar that they have there. <laughs> yeah. Well, in Leighton, Leighton, what? There'd be like two pubs and one RSL? Is it one of those towns? Um, yeah, or two or three pubs and one RSL. Yeah, close yeah. enough. Um, RSL is that like a that's like your version of the v, of VFW that's like the veterans club? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah. in like more rural towns, like they're pretty like big. There's like a lot going on there. They're a bit of a hub. Okay, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Same um, here. And an interesting fact, Callum. Uh, um. Well, I'm currently in quarantine because last Tuesday I found out that I got COVID. And that was a bit surprised for me because um Well, you came to our show Monday, so <laughs> <laughs> And I haven't had any mac and cheese. So that's probably why I still have it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get that mac and cheese in, mate. Sort yourself out. Well no. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Um Thanks. we need more Australian people on the show, goddammit. And I'm excited to have you here. So please stick around and I promise I'll be nicer to you in future. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, um I thought I was I was so close to going like a Twitch thing on that as well. I was like right there and I can't believe it. The crypto thing was pretty funny. That yeah. was great. You went for the right joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Taylor. He's my editor. Uh, literally. Uh, so uh, I think we've got time for one more regular question and then Lady's going to hit us up with some teenage slang. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, who's got a question for us? Hello, LaBelle. Oh, hey. All right. Always exciting. Always good to have you. Um, what is your question for us today, Chris LaBelle? So I've got one for both of you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Dan and Steve, if you could pick a topic that you had to force the other to write some kind of comedy set about, what would the topic be? Uh, who? Hmm. Um, mm. Promptness. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, that's, that's easy. I could just make a make a straw man that it's useless, that I could you know justify being late to shit. I've thought about doing that bit a few times, but I always forget to write it down. I run out of time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to. Yeah. All right, Steve. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, fuck. You've kind of got. Ah. Uh, I was gonna say why cats are better than dogs. <laughs> just like the most hack stand-up topic and the stance that you wouldn't take on it i was like that's that's pretty fun or like just like an airplane like food bit i think i want you to do like hack that's what, oh, I, you, that's what I want you want to you want me to write like why don't they make the whole plane out of the black box you yeah. want me to write like that, that bit? Kind of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just all that, all I that just, gold. I want to go to every comic in the 90s who wrote that joke and be like, because then it couldn't fly, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I would like to make Steve write why women be shopping. <laughs> oh. You make me write a bit about why you should beat your kids next? Like, what are you trying to do here? No, no, no. no it's Dan. Dan's wearing the shirt. He gets to write that. Oh my God. <laughs> you should hit him. I remember in my day, you got hit, right? Anyone else get hit here? Yeah, he got hit. Look, he turned out fine. You can afford tickets to the show. You should hit. You no, you know that kind of. Thing. Uh, oh fuck! I, had I just love the idea of like those comics who are just like, look, we got hit. We all turned out fine. Here we are, drinking our problems away, doing an activity where we don't have to talk to each other on a date. You know, like well-adjusted people. We're doing great. <laughs> I didn't turn out okay. How could I afford this leather jacket? But, <laughs> um, like, ah, uh, fuck. There are so many. I would love to see Steve. Like, I'd love to do Steve do like an Australian politics bit. Like, they're quite rare already because no one gives a shit. But to just have you like lean into like Australian politics deep, where it's like, let me tell you something about Peter Dutton. Like, I would love to hear that in a U.S. accent. I know you guys aren't getting the references, but just can I, write, can I write about Pauline Hanson? Absolutely. Oh, that, that's that'd be that'd be that'd be. Oh, that's kind of easy though. Fuck. Yeah, this is a like, question. I didn't like, realize. I'll tell you a little something about Pauline Hanson. Well, I don't know much about her, but that's how much she knows about your country too. 
<laughs> so you have it. I wrote the bit. It's done. Yeah, the bit's done. I just... Oh. You have no idea. Like, all I'm doing now is just thinking of bits I'd love Steve to do. <laughs> just, like, any any of my, like, purposefully ignorant shit, I would love you to do that with, like, your, like, very, like, sincere style. Like, I'd love that. Just that kind of thing. Like, yeah, we're proud of our racism in this country, right? Like, you know, any of that shit would be sick. Like, I'd love it. I'd love it. Uh, <laughs> Speaking Sorry. of things Texas has a lot of, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just got a hey from Tam. <laughs> I just got a you're not wrong, but I'm upset about it from Tam. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's keep let's keep this to the subreddit, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, I didn't I didn't realize how much I'd love that. Yeah, I think that was yeah, just like oh. Good. LaBelle, always good questions. Yeah, always. always. I would love to see. We did this uh, back when I did stand up where uh, we would have a show about you had to do someone else's act as yourself, and that person had to be on stage with you while you were doing it. I think that'd be fun uh -huh. to watch you two do it live. Just be like, one you of have the, to do their act. One of the funniest things I've ever heard was there used to be a show in New York called Comedy Covers where mm. you would basically, the idea was that you would pick a classic bit that everybody knew that didn't fit with your style. And mm. Dan Natterman, whose voice is very like 40s gangster, he's yeah. very like, ah, you see here, see? Like that's kind of his voice. And he just goes, there's a classic bit that Chris Rock does about, <laughs> you guys already know the bit. You guys already know the bit. And he's like, I always wondered what it would sound like if I did it. Well, here goes. And it was just... <laughs> it's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's... Uh, that's so... Uh, have you... Wait, did you see that? That was like... This is gone inside comedy, whatever. But just quickly, the the it was like another comedy covers thing. And it was the guy who did like the Jerry Seinfeld impression. But like, what's the deal with dating a 17-year-old? No, I did not see that. <laughs> very fun. Uh, That's hilarious. Very good. Very good stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, we got time for some teenage slang. Speaking of young people, Lady. Feel like I understand teenage slang. All right, I'm so glad that Dan asked me to do this today because I heard this one recently on a popular TikTok song written by Australian singer-songwriter, so this might also kind of be Aussie slang. I'm not sure. Okay. It is N-I-L-F, or NILF. NILF. <laughs> um, another that I'd like to... No. Um, <laughs> another. <laughs> uh, is it, is it a, the Kid Leroy song? Uh, no, it it's the, the City. I, I, I'm not on TikTok that much, so I couldn't sing it to you. NILF. But... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. NILF. <laughs> Nanny? <laughs> like what does the N stand for? Yeah, I'm, glad, close. I'm glad you said nanny because like I was like N relative. Oh God, nan, nan. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> fuck off, <laughs> lady. Don't do this to me. Don't stitch me up like this. Come on. <laughs> this teenage slang. <laughs> was that your final answer? No. I thought uh, you were kidding. Oh. So, uh, Dan, do you have any ideas? Well, that, as I said, all I all I could think of with N was niece, and I'm like, I don't think that's good. Like, I don't think that's what anyone wants. Oh, God. Neighbor? That's not good. Neighbor? Neighbor? Ooh, that's very Australian, too, the TV show Neighbors. Yeah. Well, are you ready for the answer? Yes. Yes. No, it is no. Nan. It is <laughs> No. Nan, I would like to fuck. Are you serious? Oh. Sam Fisher. <laughs> Uh, I did not mean to get it right. <laughs> All right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean to get it, but neither did Dan's nan, and we saw what happened. So. <laughs> and now I can officially tell you, that was a lie. <laughs> I made up that. I made that up. Absolutely made it up. And you know what? I have made up the past two or three. Teenage slangs that we've done. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. A couple, a couple of the folks have been in on it in our chat. A couple of us have known this was going on. Do you on remember for a long what else time. you made up? 
I remember a couple of them. Some of them also came from the brain of Brett Druck, and he would giggle about trying to make you say it on the road. We were just hoping <laughs> that you would try to work in one of these. On, what were on they? Uh, one of them was uh, Sweeben. That was one of them. That's uh, oh my <laughs> Fuck off. I hate it. <laughs> I think, wait, didn't Dan, like, say he had heard that one? I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard anything. Sweden. Uh, this another, is another one of them was racking up that birch. And after I did that one, someone posted in the group chat that they were having a chat with their younger daughter. And their daughter said something, and they said, I'm off to work to go rack up that birch. <laughs> this, but here's the thing this is how teenage slang happens exactly. this is how slang is created there's no slang lord who decides this is it oh uh, and i really thought every time i said one of these you guys would catch me on it by googling it but you never did so i was like oh my god how long could i keep oh no that? i don't oh. want to be the guy googling teenage slang <laughs> I even came up with... in a day. I gotta check this out. <laughs> no, but I even came up with like fake origins for some of them. I was like, they've gotta know this is false, but, right? But also, well, first of all, what what you don't realize is that I'm aware of how out of touch I am. <laughs> no, you know memes. You know them very well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but there's but there's teenage slang I wouldn't necessarily know. That's true. That's very so, true. So <laughs> yeah, and also like I'm definitely not the guy who's gonna start using a term because they like. You, you ever see, I see this happen with like local newscasters a lot where they'll just be like, and let's keep it crunk and be like, that was 20 years ago. That was. Can you imagine typing crunk into a teleprompter? God. Oh, God. Horrific. I, I actually, uh, I, I heard um, I was in like a green room for like a morning news show and mm. there were two people discussing that one of them had learned the term um, on fleek. Oh my god. And yes. they were discussing it and they were like saying about using it and I just go, hey, just a heads up. Uh, the fact that you know it now means no one's saying it anymore. Mm. Oh god, they were probably like, they were probably like, okay. Yeah, oh, they definitely, they're like, that comment was not on fleek. Like they're just, <laughs> I'm just like, the second someone our age knows that, it's over, it's stop it. Like, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, that, that's why we do teenage slang, so you guys can retire the slang. Well, <laughs> I, I do the have an actual... ceremony. It goes up on the wall, you know? <laughs> I know you'll never believe me again, but I do have an actual teenage slang for you. Okay. Well, <laughs> do, we, do we even want it? Like, I, in my head, this episode's called NILF. Like, that's what we're <laughs> that. I would honestly, lady, I'd say save it for next time. Well, do. Let's, yeah. let's do another one. <laughs> And by then, you can write a new one that you make yeah. up. <laughs> I could keep on making them up, and at the end, you're going to have to decide, uh, figure out whether or not you think it's real. That would actually be a fun game, identify the actual it. slang word. Oh, yeah. That's true. We could do that instead. That might be better. Might be an improvement, but I wanted you to know, Liddy, I don't remember any of them. So I have not been making a fool of myself. I retain but, no information at dang all. Dang it. By the way, Liddy. Uh, I know you think you're the only one fooling us on this show. Uh oh. But none of those songs Dan has played are real songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought they were all just old people things, and that's why I didn't know them. Nope, all been a trick. Oh. <laughs> and like, I know this. Like, I'm actually not Australian either. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, are those I'm... even your nipples? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I bought the I bought these on the dark web. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This is my attempt at a Connecticut accent. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I like that you said bort. I bort these. I bort these. I bort them. I bought them. Bought them. Like that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's bort this segment and move on. Uh -huh. You can't say that in Texas. All right. Let's keep <laughs> um, all right. I do believe it is time. We got one more regular question, Taylor. We've got time for one more. Quick. Sure, why not? Rack them uh, up. Uh, I M did. A new person. Who you got? Yeah. M. What's up? Hey. Quick. So what, what would you make your enemy eat every day, but you had to eat that once a month? Rice. Their words. Killed it. <laughs> what, <sir? laughs> Rice. <laughs> I was going with their words. I thought that was pretty good. You know, close it off quick. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would say uh, make my enemy eat every day, but I only eat it once a month. Um, uh, 
a, a whole cake. <laughs> what, would you enemy, so what would you what? make your enemy eat but you once a year? <laughs> uh, a, a limb of my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. By the end of the first month, you, you're out. You're good. You made it. Yeah, one thirtieth of my enemy. Who's who's going to enforce that? I was I was just going to say something simple, like a like a sleeping tablet or something. So there's like a sleep for a whole month, but then you get one day of rest. You know, seems uh, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, cocaine. No, um... <laughs> oh, Steve, I hope I'm your enemy. All right. Oh my God. Wait, 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 answer, Captain um, Crunch. Fuck their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It fuck their mouth? Come on, dude. <laughs> Amazing show. Uh, a family show. All right, it is time for a very special edition of This or That. No, nah, mate, nothing more to it. It's just This or That. Uh, Taylor, do you want to explain how this week's going to work? Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, so, uh, in the pre-show, we figured out, hey, let's do something different. So, right now, I have on my computer a random noun generator. And it's going to pop out two words, and I'm going to give it to these two gentlemen, and then they're going to comedy. Yep. Oh. They're going to comedy. So, All right, we're going we're gonna to pick one and, and, uh, and try to guess what the question is. Yes. All right, your first two words are orange and camera. Orange and camera. Ooh. Uh, uh, camera, what was not my nickname? <laughs> uh, camera, uh, what do I find it much easier to compare to apples? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. I also, yep. I always found that phrase so dumb. You can't compare apples to oranges and be like, sure you can. They're not the yeah. same. You'd be like one's bigger, one's oranger. That's it. <laughs> oranger is uh something we could call an episode one day. All right, Taylor, next next now. Let's go. All right, here we go. Press on the button. Perspective and celebration. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, what do I lack? Perspective. <laughs> what <laughs> Celebration. What does Dan lack? Hey. I'm, I'm Danny 27K. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Sorry, I just, I just meant after last call. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Bit of a rough show for celebrating. All right, Taylor, keep yeah. them coming. Wait, Honestly. wait, wait. Uh, both of them. What, are, what is the name of a megachurch, probably? <laughs> <laughs> Um, that is true. More like just an online corporate training course. Yeah, absolutely. 300 a month. Um, all right. Hey, Lord, what we got? Uh, oh, God. All right. Hold on. All right. Your next two words are length and awareness. <laughs> what does Dan lack? No, I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry. If you said awareness, you would be correct. Um, I'm screenshotting this. I did. I'm not this clever at all. Putting in the Facebook group. I wish I thought of this. All right, length and awareness. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, awareness, what is harder to compare to apples? <laughs> I love that a lot. They didn't give it what it deserved, I tell you. Um, 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 what, what should height be called? Length. <laughs> it's called length. Uh, awareness, oh no, both. What oh. do men lie about on dating apps? <laughs> That's it. That's the one. Taylor, we got time for two more. Let's do it. All right, here's the next one. Computer and Republic. <laughs> oh, um, Republic. Which one is currently down? <laughs> um, computer. Uh, what is something Australia will one day have? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for the day. Um, computer, what do I know how to fix? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Republic, what would have been a better title for Radiohead's album? Republic, okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's funnier either way, Dan. You got it. I no. fucked it. I'm sorry. I'm down. Okay, here Republic. Now. It still works. <laughs> okay, Republic sounds like a really shitty version of Banana Republic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where did you go? I went down. I got upset with myself. <laughs> well, then, you'll love, these next, two, <laughs> well, you'll love <laughs> these next two words. Ladder and criticism. <laughs> ladder and criticism? Ladder yeah. and criticism. Um, ladder, what can I take? <laughs> <laughs> Criticism, what do I not want when I'm on a roof? <laughs> nice. Um, by the way, I love this version of this game. This is such a good version of this game. I just I love the idea of like, hey Dan, those tiles are a little guard. Fuck off and get me a letter to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. I'm always vulnerable on a roof. Not as vulnerable as Steve, but that's a stun thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk right. vulnerable on a roof. That's why they call me orange. <laughs> vulnerable on a roof seems like a stand up comedy album from the nineties, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this like guy sitting there in his leather jacket smoking a cigarette talking about how cats are better than dogs. <laughs> vulnerable on a hot tin roof. Yeah. I mean, why did I make my jokes out of the black box? Then they wouldn't blomp. Uh, <laughs> then you're stuck. Um, nineties comedy. I think we could do a nineties comedy. That'd be like a funny show, just like nineties comedy. Yeah. Uh, like it's, yeah. All right, Taylor. I'm wearing the singlet. I'm wearing the cross. It is time for the closing of the Vin Diesel bracket. The long-running poll conducted by Taylor. He's he's shepherded this through at least eight iterations. He's the Vin Diesel of this poll. Yes, so. indeed. Uh, uh, instead of uh, we're gonna make that last because I I obviously do usually another question, um, but I made two other questions. So mm -hmm. for the p people who don't know, uh, for months now we have been trying to uh, whittle down to which movie Vin Diesel should star in instead of whoever stars in it. Now. We, during pre-show, we're like, hey, how can we make that, you know, a little more fun? So, uh, question two and three is, which movie would Steve star in and which movie would Dan star in? So, you voted that Steve should star in Mrs. Doubtfire. So, congratulations, <laughs> Steve, you're in Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, yeah, that, that, that famous scene where she goes, hello, like, where he goes, hello, I would just be like, hey. <laughs> and yours was fairly close. Everything was fairly well voted for. for but for Dan... With 50%, people were like, Dan, Forrest Gump, for <laughs> sure, lock it in. Mary. Mary. <laughs> uh, but I'm here's... not a smart man, but I don't know how to win last call. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, switch your screen off. Lieutenant Dan. Uh. <laughs> But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Nan. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> it was good. All right, here's the finale. So between Driving Miss Daisy, Forrest Gump, Mrs. Doubtfire, Mary Poppins, coming this summer, Vin Diesel, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, hell yeah. That is the winner. That is Vin Diesel's next project. Mm-hmm. So, Steve, we, we agreed that we would attempt just for you guys. I'm really upset because I thought it was going to be Miss Daisy for sure. And I made a sting for Miss Daisy. I just thought that was happening. The sting is titled Drifting Miss Daisy. And it sounds a little bit like this. Starring Vin Diesel. We roll like Miss Daisy. <laughs> See? It's good. <laughs> Here, wait, wait, wait. Do the do the movie trailer for it. I'll I'll be Vin. You be the narrator. Let's go. Wait, we're doing. I thought we we're gonna do Doubtfire. We, we do all four. Let's do them. Let's go. We can't, fuck, we can't do all four. All right, what are we starting with? Let's we'll do them quick. We'll do them quick. All right, so we'll start with Miss Daisy. All right. In a world where white women were still not allowed to drive cars, <laughs> comes a story that will melt even the iciest of hearts. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
you have to say starring Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, but I just thought you were going to jump in. To the oh, table. I can jump in here. Ready? Ready? Okay. Here is my turn. Get in. Starring <laughs> Vin Diesel as the driver. <laughs> you owe me a ride in a 10 second car. <laughs> and an actress whose name I don't remember as Miss Daisy. Jessica Tandy. <laughs> And that's just her line in the movie. She just says her own name. Yeah, she just goes, Jessica Tandy. <laughs> wait, 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 do it again. Say starring Jessica Tandy. Starring Jessica Tandy. I'm old. <laughs> starring Vin. <laughs> we were like Miss Daisy. Ugh. Who would have thought improv wasn't that easy, but kind of, you know? <laughs> I feel like we're for a trip without that. Are we actually gonna do the other three? Uh, it's up to you. If you want, do you guys want us to do the other three? Yes. yes. All right. Uh, never us. Never us. Them. What the hell do they know about structure? Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll do them just as well as we did that one. All right. I think. What are we? What are we going next? What's the next one? Uh, we'll do Miss Doubtfire last. So you got to do Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. All right. Okay. Uh, a young man is born in the South and he struggles to run. I run Buff fast. <laughs> <laughs> he pursues the love of a woman who doesn't really ever like him. Get in. <laughs> and he succeeds in life against all odds, inspiring Americans around the South. <laughs> it's just as likely that I would go to space. <laughs> And then he owns a shrimp company that is franchised around the world for simple Americans when they travel. <laughs> Starring Vin Diesel as Forrest Gump. Life's like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was easy, man, I, I kind of know the plot of that movie. You know, I've tried this days, I got nothing. I just know that she gets driven around. <laughs> All right, um, uh, going to Mary Poppins. Let's go. <laughs> when a young family is neglected by their parents, <laughs> the children look for a leader, probably wearing a singlet despite the English winter. Stop. Please go back to the movie voice. Dobby is not narrating oh. this movie. Back to one, please. <laughs> The kids' movie. They do the light. Did oh, you stop it? It was so good. I couldn't. I can't be like Vin Diesel is giving Dobby a suck. Dobby. Starring criticism. Yeah, little too, man. Honestly, we're trying to do a fucking show here. You're lucky I'm not on a roof, mate. I come down. I come down there. <laughs> The children are looking for guidance in the form of a big dress and a bigger umbrella. Supercalifragilisticexp, shut the fuck up and let me sleep, kids. Cinemas this summer, The Pacifier, starring Vin Diesel. This is a movie about family, but also enough already. Knock it off. Ah. <laughs> uh. Nitro right. makes the medicine go down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. This is that for her. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready, Steve? No. <laughs> After... Parents split up and get a divorce, which in the 90s was rare enough for it to still be a central plot point. <laughs> <laughs> a husband goes undercover in order to get his kids back. I wear no dress. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming one of the first really, really strong Italian bodybuilder slash nannies in cinema history. <laughs> Hello! He's actually quite good in this. <laughs> Starring Vin Diesel as Mrs. Doubtfire. You want some of this cake? <laughs> Sane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was 
the dumbest thing we've ever done. You say that, but that's not even top ten of the dumbest things we've ever done on this show. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're starting this all over again. We're finding another actor or actress doing another okay. bracket with them, and when we complete it, we'll do the same thing. All right, I've already chosen. We're going to do Keanu Reeves next. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Yep. Keanu Reeves is next. Doesn't matter the movie. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, all right, next week I'll have a bracket of who's going to be next. I wanted Keanu Reeves to be on there, but like also Owen Wilson would be hilarious. Yeah, that, that So on be. and so forth. I'll, I'll come up with some names next week. All right. <laughs> Oh, what a way to! <laughs> I can't believe when I had the sting. I had the... Oh, so proud of that sting. Uh, all right, Steve. That brings us to the end of the show. Uh, I would, I would like to do one quick thing where I welcome some of the people who've joined the Patreon. I've had a bunch of people join up to the Patreon. If you like the show, if you want to be a regular part of it, uh, joining the Patreon is the way to do it. You get all the old episodes. You get free entry into these shows, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, so just like the shout out, uh, Heather Chagwick, Angie Kegler. Fran, Karen, uh, they all joined in the last week. And I just want a special shout out. This is why I had to bring it up. There's somebody joined the Patreon. She's not, she's not even on the tier that lets you see the show, but her name is Kayla Dart. That is the most Australian name I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> like, it sounds like it's yelled out of a screaming ute window. Kayla Dart! Like, I love it. Um, I just wanted to bring that up. Join the Patreon. It's in the, it's in the chat. You know where to find all that stuff. Steve, anything to tell these lovely people? Or we want some leady drawings and we'll get out of here? Uh, lots of new tour dates posted on my website. Uh, all, kinds, all kinds of different American cities. Also, working on Australia. We're hoping that it's, you know, maybe five to seven cities. Uh, you know, we're just waiting for Australia to get seven cities. So yes. uh, <laughs> yeah. we're, um, we're working on it. Uh, un unlike a tennis player, I'm going to be allowed in, I think. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Seeing that he's got banned from like the French Open now too? Yep. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah they're like, going to do you... it anyway, but. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get vaccinated, you can't play there. It's like, wow. Um, that, that is, it's almost like there are consequences. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could be like Kyrie Irving and only play on the road you know just, like, <laughs> just road tournaments is where he's at alright lady close the show the right way let's get some more drawings from you draw me lady one more time alright here we go we can that never was so much again. fun <laughs> oh man I love that new segment alright uh, <laughs> first up I have the quickest I could do of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, but it's really hard to try to accurately draw him. That <laughs> is very have... impressive. It's really then good. Then I have... Dan, if you phrase your questions better, you could win last call. I just need a ladder! <laughs> if you don't need a ladder, shut your camera on. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I earned that. That was very good. That was very good. And I've got, mm, I love a nice mug of water in the morning. That's before he discovered other liquids. Coffee is. It's dirt water, but it's still water. <laughs> then I have, I can't open for you today, Steve. I've counted too many flags on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I am dramatic. Thank yeah, you. you are. Then I have, of course. Wow. <laughs> oh, the emo. <laughs> that, that, that dolphin is just sitting there going, hey, what's my porpoise? Oh. <laughs> oh. You have me draw oh. that just for that pun. I absolutely oh. did not. I thought of it too late, but it, was still, it still worked. I wish I could do a dolphin impression because his favorite band is Morrissey, uh, like, oh, dolphin noise. Wait, wait. There we go. Uh, what well, that dolphin's name is, is not Flipper. It's Flip Off. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, thank goodness you can't do a dolphin impression, Taylor, because yeah. I have... <laughs> Fuck. Hey, wait, wait, scroll back to the other one. That's just what a dolphin looks like off the coast of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was the last one. So thank you so much. Nicely done, Lady, as always. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I have some pluggy things, if that's okay. Please. Yeah, plug them uh, up. So tomorrow, the Is This Anything podcast is going to be streaming at noon, and then immediately after their streaming, Brett and I are going to stream, 
And you can find the Is This Anything podcast on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash is this anything. And uh, Brett and I stream at twitch.tv slash the art. In addition to that, you can also come see me if you're in the area at Ben Glebe's uh, taping where I will be drawing. So that is on the 20th in Philly. Excellent. And Leedy will be back on tour with me starting on March 30th in Detroit and uh, through the entire month of April. Woo! Yes. Uh, remember, no manslaughter in Detroit, even if you think you'll get away with it for seven years. <laughs> we just have to fence in order to do it. Yes. <laughs> by the way, fencing something in Detroit means something different, but different. No. There certainly isn't any defense. There it is. There it is. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Ask Us Everything. Flamingos and Flamingaritas, welcome back and thank you for always supporting the show. Uh, we will see you next Tuesday. Have a lovely week. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>Questions, meet the questions asked by our Flamingo family. From the pen of Leedy, the answers will make his story. That is provided that they're right. Jingles are the highlight of the night. When you ask the questions, sometimes it's that a Steve's right. Less often Dan's right, but Taylor's always nice.